welcome today brothers and sisters welcome to all my subscribers be blessed in the name of jesus christ you are welcome you are blessed this this morning this evening or whatever time you will be watching me you are blessed you are most welcome thank you for all those of you that have already subscribed thank you so very much god bless you bless you and keep you and may the lord guide you and like like we will continue to do all together for the glory of god so today i will be talking to the young people out there those are preparing those that are preparing for their marriage to get married we know marriage is not an easy thing marriage is it's not easy it's not easy and sometimes like when you are young like you always dreaming to get married you want to get married oh it's time for me to get my husband and whatever whatever and you know some people will get married very young and they will spend the rest of their life together because they learn how to understand each other and accept each other for who they are just as they are so it's it's very it's easy to live together and at the same time it it is not easy that depends on our characters or who we are how we will accept things how we will show our love prove our love and the way i will say also the way we will help each other in our marriage in our lifestyle in not even because i will say not in our marriage because that is something that I have to be in you and like when you are growing up your parents showed you how to do things and you you know how to respect each other how to show how to do things together and it will make it easier for you so today i will be talking mostly to the young ladies out there you are preparing for marriage you want to get married but you know it's it's not easy as i said it's not an easy thing you have to be preparing for your marriage by learning how to do things learning how to obey your parents and i know some of us wasn't we didn't raise up in a good environment that should love and things like that but you know it, it is not because we had that type of things like we saw our parents living in any way maybe we had bad behavior or the character the way they used to fight and disagreed on certain things we don't have to follow their footsteps we have to find our own way in life we just have to let god work in us and be our guide in our marriage and the ma we know when we are parents I, I myself i will i will give some example when i was a child my mother showed me how to do things and in saint lucia where i was born people learn how to do things even though you were seven eight years old they would be putting your socks in a basin of water for you and they will show you how to be washing your underwears and lots of your ribbons because we use ribbon to go to school church and everything they will just be, put, be an example like your mother will be sitting there and washing and she will put, give you a little basin and will teach you how to wash so that's marriage is not when you are you have like you're 18 20 or whatever age like you're planning to get married you learn how to f do things you learn how to do things long before that long before that and that is up to the parents to show their children and prepare them for tomorrow because you never know what might happen in life. Sometimes they have many people that died and left their children and without their knowing how to do anything. And sometimes people will be miss, like they will treat them very bad and mislead them too because they didn't get anything from their parents from the beginning to know or oh know that that's not my that's not how my mother used to do it i will do it the way i know she was doing it because i saw she was doing that very well so people will not mislead us so 
mothers out there, your, ch your, your young girls don't have to plan for marriage and with, like they don't know how to do anything. They cannot cook, they cannot clean, they cannot wash, they cannot do anything. We have to be showing them how to do things. Because as I said, I learned how to do things very young. I used to watch my mother when she used to cook. I used to be there. I used to watch, watch, excuse me, watch all what she was doing. When she used to wash, I, I wanted to wash with her. I wanted to wash the dishes and do everything. When she was doing her crochet doilies, I used to watch what she was doing. And when she turned her back, I used to un, undo it. And I, I wanted to do it just like she was doing. That's how I learned crocheting. Very, I learned how to crochet very at a young age. I learned how to cook very young at the age of 11 i used to cook for everyone at home 11 12 i used to cook for everyone at home at the age of eight years old i used to go to school i wanted to iron my clothes and i started ironing my clothes at the age of eight nine years splitted skirt we had splitted skirt and i i used to do it for me and my stepsister so it's very important to show the children how to cook how to clean because i know in marriage that that is all no that's not what that matters it matters it's very important because as you know if you are getting married you are not a slave like you just learn you just have to learn how to cook how to clean and do these sorts of things because we must show how we must know how to show love and these other things so i will take some verses in the bible that are talking to us about a virtuous woman. I think, I don't know if that's how they pronounce it because as I said, I'm living in a French country and at a very young age, I started speaking Creole and I didn't go much school. As I said, I didn't learn anything at school. I learned how to read in my Bible. I'm not that good. I don't have a proper English, but I'm trying my best. I'm living in a French country and I'm trying it and I'm trying to translate in English what I'm doing in Creole because I like speaking Creole. <laughs> so to God be the glory. I don't have the example there in, in English, but I took them in, on, I have them in French. So I will just be saying the verses and I will explain in English what I understand about what's, what I will be talking about. Hallelujah. So as I was saying, I will take some example. I took it in the French Bible and I will just explain it in English. So the first one I will I chose was in Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. Maybe in the English Bible, sometimes it can be 17 or 19 sometimes it doesn't like it doesn't be like it like as i said 18 sometimes you'll find it in another in another verse so it the lord was saying like it is not good for a man to stay alone and he would be doing a help someone to help him in the same resemblance of him of him I think that's how they explain it. So, oh my God. <laughs> okay. And in another example, I will take Proverbs chapter 31 verse 10. And the Lord was saying, like who find a, a virtuous woman she is, she have more value than pearls. She has more value than pearls. Proverb 12, verse 4. is saying, a virtuous woman is a crown to, to her husband. I will try and I will search for it in English. So, okay. Okay, Proverbs for is seen, an excellent wife is a crown to her husband, but she 
who cause shame is like rottenness in his bones. Oh my God. Oh, so that is some example. Because the Lord knows what he was doing when he made a, a wife for Adam, a company, someone to keep him company, like a help as the Bible is saying. And Proverbs 31 verse 12 is saying, verse 12 is saying, she does him good and not evil all the days of her life. So we are there to do good. I know we are not perfect. We are not perfect. When something that, because the Bible said to, uh, but the Bible is teaching us, if you have a problem with your husband or someone, you don't have to let the sun set on that problem. You have to reconcile. Marriage, that doesn't mean there will not be misunderstanding or whatever. But we know we have to love each other, to forgive each other, and to go on in life. So marriage is not, it is not easy. Marriage, you have to prepare yourself. If you want to get married, you must, you must know how to cook. You must know how to clean. Because when you have your husband, I will take some example. If you have your husband, and you are not someone that is tidy, when he arrives home, like after work he reach home, the house is in a mess. The kitchen is in a mess. You haven't cooked since morning. Maybe you are at home and you are not working as yet, even though you have a child or whatever. Maybe without children because you just get married. You just got married. So when your husband come at home, the toilet is not clean. The bathroom is untidy. And even the bed, maybe you have not even pulled your bed sheet. Day after the day after the and that husband that you have, I'm talking to the ladies. I will be explaining some things that concerning the 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 men as well. And when that husband, your husband, he didn't know that type of behavior when he was growing up with her mother. Her mother was tidy and everything was clean, and he saw. A mother cooking every day or, or almost every day and cleaning and because what we don't know what you don't know as a young child or a young woman growing up when the spiritual and what we are living physically they they goes together they goes together so Sometimes some, the spirit when you like cleaning, you like cleaning, you like cleaning your house. You know the presence of God. You cannot be in a untidy house and like the angel of God will be visiting you and that cannot go together. Untidiness and God do, doesn't know, go together. Because that's why He is asking us to sanctify ourselves. If you are not sanctifying yourself, if you are not like searching to see what's not going on in you and just to find your deliverance and for to pray for God for his help to clean you, to purify you. That is just like you living in a dirty house. Like when you invite the spirit of God and you inside you in your heart there is mischief and all sorts of garbage and things that doesn't belong to God and he, he will not... He cannot, he said in his word, he will not like be living with an evil spirit in your heart, with untidiness. We have to put order in our heart, in our spirit, in our soul, in our mind. We have to be clean, it, that clean each and every day. If we have like something come to your mind and you know it's evil, at once you have to say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus and you get out, and get out and you must place all that, all these negative thoughts by good, by positive thinking and like holiness and maybe you can sing, you can pray and you can ask God for That is the same way. So an example again I will take. You have that good friend of yours. When you go at, when they invite you and your husband, when you arrive, you find everything and your husband will be, noticing 
at her home everything is shining everything is clean the meal is well prepared like when when your husband will be saying watch i will say i will take an example i went at um janice home and everything was shining so how can you 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 are there all the day so you cannot make a little effort to tidy up the house a little bit and when I come home, it's me always that have to do it. And you know, just by saying that, you will begin to have problems with him. You will be saying, maybe you like, maybe you in love, maybe you wish that Janice was your wife. He is not saying that. He is not saying he rather that person than you. He just wants a little tidiness, tidiness at home. And that can have a positive, and that can be positive in your marriage. That can be positive in your marriage. Because you know, everything is important in life. Your way of speaking, your way of behaving, your way of cleaning, cooking, everything is important in life. So as we know, we are not a maid. We, not, we are not at home just to clean and cook. We have to learn to do things out to So maybe speak another language. We can learn things. We can. There are many things to learn. There are many things that we can do. There are many things that we can do. So as I was saying, it is not only for the young ladies. If you have a wife, you fellas out there, brothers out there your wife is not a maid your wife is not there just to do everything for you and say oh the bible say like the woman have to obey her husband and you will be sitting there all the day and watching your sports your football and you you are you are not searching to do what you can help your wife maybe she have two two kids or even though you haven't you don't have any children as yet, but there is love like just doing things together. We are there, we can cook together, or if I'm cooking, you can help me to like clean one of the rooms that may not even, maybe not that, but a little thing, something small you will be doing for her, and she will appreciate like you are participating. If the children like they are eating and you can say, oh, mama, Mommy is there doing something. I will let me. I will help you to eat. Let me give you that, or I will go and make. I will change the the pumper for the baby, or whatever. You can help her at home. You can help her at home because love. That's love. That's part of love. That's part of living together. You don't have to leave everything for the wife to do. For the wife to do, and maybe some people will see some people like there are some men out there that like to clean, that like to cook, and maybe a friend of you will say, "Oh, how comes is you that doing all that cleaning, that cleaning, that cooking, and your wife is there? Like maybe your wife is there, but she is doing something else, and they will say, "Oh, how come maybe you are the one? Your wife is the one." With the with the pants and you are just acting like a woman. You are just doing that. How can you be so stupid? You are so. So that's why God. We must know how who we will be choosing to be our friends. If that person don't have the spirit of God in him, how can he give you any good advice? Maybe he is jealous, just jealous of you and your relationship, and he will try everything to turn you to make like to bring trouble in your in your marriage so you don't have to listen to them and you don't have to bring your friends at home or to see what you are doing or on what you're not doing <laughs> so that you will your love will you will be will be sticking staying together one love and everything will be going well because we have to choose our friends we have to choose our friends amen the bible said the Bible in, in Proverbs chapter 19. Chapter 19. 
Proverbs 19 verse 14 said, he's saying, a house on riches are an inheritance from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. A prudent wife is from the Lord. We have to be prudent. We have to watch our behaviors, how we are, like I said, how you're holding your house, your, yourself, your, yourself, how you're taking care of your body, yourself, and you have to show your husband your interest in him and how you are taking care of your house. Your, because the Bible said, like, a virtuous woman will be cooking, will be doing some things, and just she's just taking care of, of her household and her husband will be happy, the children at home will be happy. She know how to talk to them, how to raise them, because the Lord is the one making all that. The Lord, the Lord will help you. The God, the God of Jacob, the God of Abraham will not leave us alone. He said that. He sent his Holy Spirit to guide us, to lead us, to help us. So he will never leave you alone. Brothers and sisters out there, Young men and women, you are prepared for marriage, but you must learn how to be with each other. We must know how first to respect each other because marriage is it is not the ceremony or and all that be things that all the like guests you will have that party and everything. The marriage is the two of you living together. The two of you, the relationship that you will have together with each other. The marriage is not the ceremony. It's not the like the all the all these people will that will be there with you dancing and eating and things. But it is the two of you together, the two of you together. That is what that's the marriage. Okay, okay, okay. So be intelligent, ladies. Be intelligent. Be prudent. And God will help us. So that's why I will be stopping for today. God bless you. God bless you. So I will just pray a little while for all those that are prepared for marriage. I myself am not perfect. But we have to learn. We are learning in life. And the, we have to... Is by loving each other, we know how to live with each other. So, Heavenly Father, I come before you, Lord, just as I am. I'm asking you, Heavenly Father, to bless whoever is prepared for marriage. I'm asking you, Heavenly Father, touch their heart. Make, help their love to grow for each other, Heavenly Father. Help them to choose their friends, my God, my King. I'm asking you, Lord, let the work of the enemy against them, against their marriage, be without effect. Let every words, evil words or plots, whatever the enemy or even one of the parents, members of their family and friends will be saying negative upon their marriage. Let it be, be Lord, without effect. Lord, I bless your name. I worship you, Heavenly Father. Bless their marriage, Heavenly Father. Help them to understand. Help them to love. Help them, Lord, to forgive. Oh, my God, my King, I bless your name. I worship you, Jesus. I worship you, Lord. Thank you for helping me, Lord, to encourage the young brothers and sisters out there that are planning for their marriage, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I give you glory and I give you praise. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So that's why I will be saying goodbye for today. Be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Parents out there, prepare your, your children for marriage. Prepare your young, even though they are men, you have to prepare them. They have to be prepared. Prepare them so that they will not like be too disappointed <laughs> when they get married. Because when you get married, you know, in the maybe the first three years, being together the first year, the first six months, and they are getting to learn, know about each other, really living with each other. It will be like a, <laughs> like a hurricane. Sometimes it, things will be shaking. Oh, that's how you are. I didn't know that. Now, oh my God, now I'm getting to know that you are, you don't like that. You don't. But why you didn't 
talk to me about that. It is not easy. So God is good. Put God in the center and everything will be okay. So bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.